here in the clubhouse tonight. Please welcome the former star of one of my all-time favorite shows, Friday Night Lights, and the current star of the wildly entertaining show, Nashville on ABC. She has been on my dream guest list forever. I hope somebody warned her about how infatuated I am. It is Connie Britton, everybody! <laughs> Thank you for wearing a side uh, side pony for us. Here's what. Will you make my dreams come true by reenacting a famous Friday Night Lights scene wow. where you will play tough but fair guidance counselor Tammy <laughs> Taylor and I will play the sometimes frustrating but equally wise love of your life, Coach Eric oh Taylor. <laughs> and we do this. I do have a pair of Tammy Taylor. Okay, good, 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 good. I feel more dialogue. comfortable. Okay, great. Let me just put my windbreaker <laughs> on. I'm so obsessed with this. Okay. This is my fantasy. I'm freaking out. I'm okay. also honored to be here for this. Here we go. Way. Just when I sit over here and watch. You can give me backup, just in case. <laughs> okay. Okay, should we start? Yeah, yeah. Oh my you, God, you're so Tammy Taylor right now. Sorry, ready? She's so Tammy Taylor, I can't handle it. In your, in your own time. In your own action. time. <laughs> I'm gonna make a proposal to you, and I don't want you to jump to any kind of immediate decision about it. Okay, all right. <laughs> I've been thinking about um, Julie, and I could, maybe maybe we could stay here until she graduates from high school. It would allow me to continue my work here with the kids. No, no. Just no? <laughs> yes, no, no. There's no way, Tammy. <laughs> You can't just say no, just like that. No, that commute between Dylan and Austin is just not a simple commute. That separation between this family, no way. Well, you know what? I need you to just think about it for a second. I'm, I'm thinking about it. I'm, I'm listening. I thought about it. Well, we need to consider this now from the perspective of three people in this family. We have a mature relationship. We are mature people. No, in that sense, I'm not mature because that's not a relationship. That's not a family, Tammy. And scene. Yeah. Yeah. So excited. Oh my God. Oh, oh my God. I can't believe she We're going to be in touch. Yes. We're definitely going to be in you. touch. <laughs> Can I okay. keep this? Oh, please. Good work. <laughs> He totally won't stop making eye contact with me, so we'll probably hang out a little later. It's Cardboard <laughs> Tim Riggins! Yeah. Drinking game reminder, anytime you hear Tammy Taylor say this. Hey, y'all! Drink like Julie Taylor did that time Tim Riggins snuck her home and Eric Taylor caught him putting her to bed. Remember that? Remember that, Tim? Yeah. Texas forever. Dylan Taylor. <laughs> Let's go to the phone for Connie Britton and Zachary Quinto. Call her. What's your name and from where are you calling? Hi, Josie from New York. Hey, Josie, what's your question? Oh, my God, Andy Cohen, I love you. I love you. Clear eyes, full heart, can't lose. <laughs> what's your question? Sorry, I got to get it all out. I'm sorry. I, this question. is embarrassing. I apologize. I love it. Okay, okay, this is bad. Um, I have a two-part question for Connie. Okay, two parts. Hi, Connie. Hi. Um, first of all, what was it like to kiss Kyle Chandler and be, be truthful? And what? secondly... <laughs> Darn, I was going to lie. What did you smell like? What? I what was the second question? What does he smell like? She wants oh, to What does he smell yes. like? What does he smell like? He smells like manure. <laughs> um, second question first. Um, no, he, uh, truthfully, Kyle would get really embarrassed whenever we had to do any kissing at all. And here's a little known fact. In the uh, second episode ever, they wrote us a big sex scene that opened the episode, and he was so uncomfortable with it, and it was so terrible that it was cut out of the show, and we never had a sex scene again for the rest wow. of the history of Friday Night Lights. You heard it here tonight. I guess the viewers paid for that. Yeah. What about a Friday Night Lights reunion? Any, I know that there was talk of a movie, a, another movie based on the TV show. Yes, uh, you know, there's been a lot of talk about a lot of things, and people are, some people are really excited about it, and other people aren't. Are you excited about that? I love the idea. I think it'd be a great idea. Right. But my former husband... Coach, Coach Eric Taylor. Eric Taylor. <laughs> he, think, he thinks you did it already. Well... Yeah, you did. And he has, and he has a point. Yes. What do you think? 
What do you, uh, would you watch? You know the movie? what? I can't get enough. I would go to the movie on opening night. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Absolutely. And we would only do it if it was going to be a great movie. Yes, of That's course. The thing. And it would only be great because you guys were all in it. Yeah. Um, but maybe don't invite Becky back. I didn't. Uh, I, I was okay. Not big, okay. Okay. I have to say, I know Andy just said we would stop with FNL talk, but Texas Forever. I have to ask a Friday Night Lights question. Yes. And I just was interested in knowing who you still keep in touch with from the cast. Oh, that's good. Oh, um, Kyle Chandler, my forever ex-TV husband. Um, Annie Palicki, Adrian Palicki, who played Tyra. Oh, dear, sweet, amazing so friend dear, of sweet, mine. Dear, sweet. Um, yes. Um, the real as opposed to the cardboard. Oh, no. <laughs> um... Those are those are kind of the main ones, but then I will always and forever be happy to see all, anybody because I I love them all so much. But those are the ones that I really like, you know. Will wow. Bond for life. Well, you know what else I think, Connie Britton? The time has come uh -oh, for you uh -oh, to uh -oh, plead, plead the fifth. Yeah. Here we go, Connie Britton. I have three Friday Night Lights themed questions for you. Okay. You may plead the fifth to only one. Okay. Here we go. God bless you. <laughs> Who do you, you, you made the show for five seasons. Five seasons. A lot goes on in five seasons. Who do you suspect was hooking up during that time? On Friday Night Live? Yeah. Who do I suspect was hooking up? Yes. Um, everybody with everyone. Is that true? Really? It was a, f a literal I am on girl. national, or at least semi-national television. Yes, internet. I doubt that that's true, but right. that's my answer. I'm okay, very good. <laughs> okay, very good. Jason Street, Matt Saracen, Smash Williams. Who did you personally miss the most when they were no longer a series regular? Jason Street, Matt Saracen, Smash, Smash Williams. <laughs> um... <laughs> Probably Smash Williams. Uh huh. Love him. Yeah. He's so great. Gaius Charles. Gaius is. Gaius, Gaius Charles. Yeah. Gaius. Sorry. He's conditioned. an awesome, amazing guy. Yeah. But I, I missed all of them. Yeah. I loved all of them. What storyline did you dislike on the show? In the whole run of the show, can you name one storyline that you did not? Well, like? I mean, I'm gonna go the party line on this one. The murder in season two. Yes. Yes. I mean, that's not a hard question. Yes. And did that <laughs> and did that get drawn out because of the writers? Did the writers strike have something to do with that? Or, no, or? I mean, everybody always says, oh, it was because the network put pressure on or whatever. I think everybody just thought it was gonna be a good idea right. and then realized, oh, maybe it wasn't such a good idea. And so then they were stuck. Ladies and gentlemen, she did not plead the fifth. Thank you very much. Connie Brown.